Um, and as I said, the auditor is required to confirm the auditing standards say that. When we talk about cash, we'll talk about confirmations again. Um, but accounts receivable, as I said, have to be confirmed unless the auditor deems accounts receivable to be immaterial to the company's financial statements. Um, if they've concluded that evidence about uh, confirmations will provide ineffective evidence. Yes, Ricardo. But that's not, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that, right? Because by, and, and I don't, and here's why. Well, I know. And, I, but I, I, I would believe if they're doing negative confirmations, they, they have evidence um, that would suggest that accounts receivables are, uh, are fairly presented, that, they're, that, that there are no material misstatements. They have, uh, they have, they've gotten other evidence to support the accounts receivable balance. Because with accounts receivable, it's not unusual for customers not to apply, to reply. So by getting a negative confirmation, you know, by not getting a reply doesn't tell you anything, right? Because it's, it's kind of uh, common practice that customers don't reply, right? So, and we'll talk in a minute about alternative procedures that they could perform. Usually, you're going to see, um, and, and they might send out negative confirmations for smaller balances, but, but for larger balances, they're performing other alternative procedures. So. But again, if the auditor thinks that the evidence that they gather from, they would gather from confirmations would not be uh, sufficient and appropriate evidence, then, and, they ha and you have to document your rationale for that, then they don't have to perform it. And then finally, if it's the combined level of inherent risk and control risk is low, um, and other substantive evidence can be accumulated to provide sufficient evidence, then they don't have to confirm. And that's what I think those would be kind of this, that would be a scenario where they might send out negative confirmations for smaller balances because there's very low inherent risk and control risk. But, but I want you to key in on then other substantive evidence, right? So it's not enough to say internal control risk is low, inherent risk is low, so therefore I'm, I'm confident that accounts receivable doesn't contain any material misstatement. You have, the auditors have to perform a alternative substantive evidence. They have to obtain uh, uh, um, other substantive evidence to support that.